In this video, we're going to complete example two. We're going to learn how to convert Z scores into actual scores. It says here the average height of a female is 165.1 centimeters and is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 8.9 centimeters. How tall is Nancy if her Z score is positive 1.2? So already you might have noticed that this is quite a challenging question because there's quite a lot of decimals here and in particular our Z score is a decimal. I still like to write my Z scores down on my bell curve. It just helps me visualize what's going on. Now our mean, commonly known as X bar, is 100 and 65.1 centimeters. We're told that the average height is 165.1. Our standard deviation, which we'll just call S, is 8.9 centimeters. Now when we look at our bell curve here, the peak here in the middle is our mean, which is 165.1. This has a Z score of zero. Now if I keep adding our standard deviation of 8.9, it's a little complicated, but I've already done the working out here to the side of me. If I add it once, I get 174 centimeters. That's a Z score of positive one. If I add it again, I get 182.9, which is a Z score of positive two. And if I add it again, I get 191.8, which is a Z score of positive three. Now I could go further and write down the negative Z scores, but I already know that my Z score is positive 1.2. So there's no need for me to go into the negatives here. A Z score of positive 1.2 is slightly higher than plus one. So it's going to be slightly higher than 174 centimeters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my formula Z equals X minus X bar over S, and I'm going to substitute values. My Z score is positive 1.2, so I'll write that as 1.2. I don't know my score. I don't know what X is. My score is going to be the height of Nancy, or how tall Nancy is. And then I'm going to subtract the mean or average. I'm going to subtract X bar, the average being 165.1. And I'm going to put all of this over S, our standard deviation of 8.9. So what we'll do first is we'll multiply both sides by 8.9. The reason we're doing this is it's going to cancel out the 8.9 beneath. So I'll bring up my calculator, 1.2 times 8.9, I'm working out this part here on the left, gives me 10.68. So on the left side, I have 10.68 and then on the right side I have x minus 165.1 x minus 165.1 next I need to add the 165.1 to both sides this will cancel out the 165.1 on the right so 10.68 plus 165.1 gives us 175.78. We'll round that to 175.8 centimeters. 175.8 centimeters is X or the height of Nancy. And just to double check that, looking at my bell curve, I said earlier it's going to be slightly above 174 because 1.2 is slightly above a Z score of positive one. And that makes sense. This number here, this height, is slightly higher than 174. So it gives me a little bit of comfort to look at the solution from my formula and compare it to what I see on my bell curve. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.